Hello, everybody. Today we're talking about Michael Jackson. And you go, listen, I don't think most of you really need an introduction to Michael Jackson. I think most of you guys know who he is and what he's all about. So, right here, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. All right. So, there's a theory that Michael Jackson predicted 9 11. Now, the theory is actually pretty concise, it, it makes a lot of sense when you look at it. So, we'll look at it today. Okay. So, first, let's talk about the album. The album is called Blood on the Dance Floor. Now, this album came out in 1997, which is why it's pretty significant that this is even something that could be the case, because this was years before 9-11 even happened, okay? So, the main and the primary conspiracy theory comes from the album cover for Blood on the Dance Floor, okay? So, let's take a look at it really quick. So, right here is the album cover. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to this. Okay, so... Talking about this album cover is important to this theory because it is the whole theory, all right? So, Blood on the Dance Floor, already a pretty scary and ridiculous title for, uh, uh, for an album. Um, but I want you guys to pay attention to all of the imagery in this album cover, okay? Let's go from bottom to top, all right? So, we're going to go from right down here from his feet, his shoes, all the way to the middle here at the top. So, first of all, I want you to look at the floor, the floor is interesting, right? It's this checkered pattern. It's very nice. It's shiny. It's reflective. But there's a reason why that floor is important. Here's why. So you all have heard of the Freemasons, right? The Masonic people, all that stuff started way back when. Well, guess what? Those floors in the Masonic temple are similar to the floor that Michael Jackson is dancing on on this album cover. Now, I know you guys are gonna be like, well, that's a coincidence, right? There's all types of checkered floors all over the place. I understand that, but going forward, I want you to keep in mind that perhaps Michael Jackson might have been a Freemason, and this album cover was supposed to be representative of the floors that are in the Masonic Temple Halls. Just saying, all right? It's part of the theory, so you know, let's keep going. So going further, like I said, we're going from bottom to top. So let's look at this right here. What could all of this be? Well, simply put, that is the New York skyline. Yes, the wonderful and magnificent New York skyline. Here it is. I mean, if you guys are from New York City, you already know how beautiful the New York skyline is. Um, and, and this is basically all that he had to do here in this album cover is show this, right? And again, this is a very particular part of the theory going forward. I want you to recognize that the cityscape that we see here could be, again, a conspiracy, we don't know, but could be the New York skyline, okay? Let's keep going. Now, again, going from bottom to top, I want you guys to look at the plume of smoke. Plume of smoke. I don't have to really go too deep into that. This is a 9-11 conspiracy theory regarding Michael Jackson. You already know where that's going. But this is one of the most important parts of this theory. And there are way more parts of this theory and other things he's predicted. So stay tuned to the end of the video because it gets even crazier than this on some of the stuff that Michael Jackson has predicted, okay? So I want you guys to look at his arms. Look at his arms, okay? Just for a second. Are you looking? All right. Now, if you were to look at his body and you were to look at as if there was a clock, right? a clock around his body, his arm right here, the short arm, the hour arm, would be on the nine, and his long arm or the minute arm would be very close to 11. So if you were to look at his short arm, which is pointing to the nine, and the long arm, which is pointing to the 11, there it is, 9-11. Now, this theory is interesting because it goes even deeper than that, okay? It goes even deeper than that. Because one of my fans actually pointed this out during a live. We were having a lot of fun. Uh, we were enjoying ourselves. And, and he brought this theory to me. He said, you know, the Michael Jackson album cover, you know, you got the, the Masonic floors. You got the city skyline of New York. You got the plume of smoke, which represents the downed buildings during 9-11. And then you have his arms that are pointing to the 9 and the 11. And I said, okay, well, that's interesting. But then I looked at something different. When you're a conspiracy theorist, one thing you pay attention to is not just numbers, but colors. Colors are very important to a theory, okay? I want you all to pay attention to his red suit, his blood red suit. And of course, the album is called Blood on the Dance Floor, okay? Now, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Are you ready? I believe Michael Jackson on this album cover represents one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Check this out.
So if you don't know about the four horsemen of the apocalypse, it's very simple. Basically, in the book of Revelation in the Bible, uh, there are four horsemen of the apocalypse. One is for conquest, one is for war, one is for famine, and one is for death. And they all have different colors. So, for example, the pale horse is of death. I believe the black horse is famine. And the red horse is war. That's right. Now, when I saw this, I thought it was interesting because, again, what happened directly after the buildings were struck in New York City. The war on terror began. So if we pay very close attention to the timeline of 9-11, you recognize that on 9-11, the buildings were hit on 9-12. You knew that George W. Bush, who was the president at the time, addressed the entire country and the world and was basically saying, this is a war we're going to win. But on September 20th, 2001, Congress and the nation, along with George W. Bush, announced the war on terror. The war officially began, and they had their sights set on all types of countries who were involved. So the theory that this album cover is representative of Michael Jackson predicting 9-11 makes a lot more sense. Again, the Masonic floors. Some people say that 9-11 was set up by, you know, the Freemasons and stuff like that. You see the skyline buildings from New York City, the plume of smoke after the 9-11 attacks, the arms 9 and 11, and as well as his suit that is blood red that represents the war horsemen of the apocalypse. But wait, that's not all. There are some conspiracy theorists who believe that Michael Jackson didn't just predict 9-11 in 1997. There are some that also believe Michael Jackson predicted the 2020 pandemic. That's right. COVID-19. People believe Michael Jackson predicted COVID-19. This is crazy. This is insane. Okay, let's get into it. Here we go. So the idea and the conspiracy that Michael Jackson may have predicted COVID-19 is something that a lot of people have been talking about since COVID-19 happened back in 2020. So here's kind of the story. Basically, um, Michael Jackson had a bodyguard by the name of Matt Fittis. And long story short, Matt had to obviously been looking after Michael Jackson for quite a long time. And Michael Jackson used to be very particular about how he was around people. He didn't like the idea of being in close quarters with individuals. He didn't like being too face to face with anybody. And so what he did to combat any sicknesses or anything that might have been a problem, Michael Jackson would wear face masks all the time. In fact, here's a little video of some of the face masks he was wearing. So as you can see, obviously, this is just a theory, yes, but Michael Jackson, again, was one of the only people in America who would wear face masks like that constantly. And yes, there are even some songs that might suggest that there was something coming or Michael Jackson felt like there was some type of pandemic or emergency that was going to hit the United States. So Michael Jackson some years ago wrote a song called Heal the World. And this song was a massive hit because obviously there's all types of tragedies that happen all over the world all the time. So some believe, normal people believe, that he wrote the song Heal the World in order to just make something positive and get people excited about living life. But there are conspiracy theorists who think that Heal the World is actually an allegory for coronavirus or a pandemic-like situation that he was afraid of. So if you look at the lyrics uh, to Heal the World, you'll actually see some very interesting parts like how everyone's dying around the world, people are sick, people need help. There's that. But then a lot of people found it interesting that during the coronavirus, many, many people were using the song Heal the World as a backdrop song to some of the issues and situations arising from the virus. Now, like yourself, I, I found this very strange when I was scrolling through this stuff, I realized quickly, like, wait a minute, Heal the World had been used time and time again from many, many people to basically make a soundtrack to the, to the, so, the whole situation of COVID-19. Everyone found that weird. And so, of course, conspiracy theorists began to make the assumption that what if maybe, possibly, Heal the World, the song, was actually about a pandemic, about COVID-19. Now, Michael Jackson is obviously a prolific figure in music. And of course, there's all types of theories about Michael Jackson, like whether or not he actually had a son, uh, whether or not he is still alive. There's a lot of them. But I thought these were interesting and hopefully you did too. 